Hey, art friends, we're so glad you're with us today, and we're gonna draw another farm animal. What are we drawing? A cow. Yeah, a cow. It's gonna be a lot of fun. What colors do we need for this lesson? Yellow, green, pink, pink, black, black yeah, and brown. Brown. You also need some paper. All right, you ready to start? Yeah. Let's start with our black crayon to draw all of the main shapes. And the first shape we're gonna draw is an oval for our cow's head. I'm gonna draw kind of a big oval like that. Do you wanna draw an oval over here? And we're drawing it on the left side so that we have room for the body on the right side. Yeah. Now let's draw a rectangle shape for the body. So let's start at the top of the oval and we're gonna draw a straight line across. Mine kind of curved. We're gonna start here and draw a straight line that comes over to there. There you go. Then let's draw the back of our cow. We're gonna come straight down to about here. And then we're gonna draw a straight line going across into the head. Yeah, we got an oval, and then we got part of a rectangle shape for the body. Okay, now let's add the ears. We're gonna start here and draw a line that comes up and back down. It looks like an upside down letter V. Yeah, and it kind of looks like a horn. Oh, it does kind of look like a horn. This could be the ear though, and you could add another V for the horn if you wanna draw a boy cow. Yeah. But let's draw a girl cow. Okay, we're gonna start here for the ear, go up and then back down. Yes, and then let's add another one on the other side for the other ear. There we go. Well, we could also add little eyes. I'm gonna draw two little ovals. Little ones. <laughs> oh, <laughs> even smaller. <laughs> okay, now let's draw our cow's legs and we're gonna draw more rectangle shapes, except they're gonna be really skinny so that they look like legs. So we're gonna come down, over, and then back up. See how that looks like a rectangle shape? So start here, come down, over, and then back up. Down, over, straight up, nice. Now let's draw another one and let's make our cow look like it's walking. So we're gonna just draw a diagonal line coming down. Yep, oh, I like that one. That's kind of a little bit longer. We're gonna draw a short line for the bottom coming over and then Draw another one connecting back up. So you can start here and connect to the leg. Yes, that's an awesome leg. I like it a lot. <laughs> I'm gonna make my eyes a little bigger. You can do that. Oh, that's really cute too. Oh, I like it. And our art friends can change their drawings too. It doesn't have to look just like ours. Yeah. Our cow needs more legs. So let's draw another rectangle shape right here. I'm gonna draw. It doesn't mean it's two legs, yeah. we need um, four legs. <laughs> four legs, you're right. We're gonna draw the bottom and then connect back up. So yes, that's a good spot. Over and then back up. And then let's draw another leg. I'm gonna do the same thing. Draw it right next to this one and then connect in. You could add your leg back here. You could draw it right here and then connect in. There you go, and then in. What else does our cow need? A tail. A tail. Let's draw a diagonal line coming down. From right here, you can draw it coming down. Yes, and then at the bottom, I'm gonna draw an oval and color it in. And we also need to add spots to our cow. Let's draw a funny shape right here. We could draw a wiggly shape coming down from the back. Oh, that's so cool. I love that shape. Now let's add a smaller shape right here for another spot. Oh, I'm gonna add another spot right here. So I have two more smaller spots. There you go. And maybe another one right here. Okay, now this next part, we're gonna fast forward, but we're gonna color in our spots so that they're black. Now you guys at home can pause the video and take time to color in your spots also. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. Now we're ready to color in the hooves or the feet on our cow. I'm gonna draw a line right at the bottom. You could draw on this one, yeah, there you go. And then we'll color in the bottom part. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Let's do the same thing on the other leg and then color in the bottom part. And then I'm gonna repeat that same step over here on these back legs. 
And it went a little faster since we're just repeating the same steps. You could also add spots to the legs if you wanted to. Oh yeah. <laughs> now let's switch to our pink crayon. This is so we can add a pink nose to our cow. So I drew a line across, it kind of looks like a frowny face, yeah. but it's actually the nose. So let's color in that bottom part of the nose. There we go. And this part will fast forward too. So remember to pause the video, take extra time to color your nose. Then we can also add pink to the ears for the inside of the ears, huh? There you go, just a little spot. You could also color the whole thing if you wanted to. We also need to add the udder. And what's the udder for? To get the milk. Yeah, this is where, where our milk comes from. We're gonna draw the letter U underneath our cow's belly. And then let's color in that shape. There you go. Then we're gonna add three lines coming down from the udder like that. Olivia, we did it, we finished our cow, but let's add a few more details. Let's switch to our green crayon and we can add grass. Cows like grass, don't they? Yeah. I'm gonna draw a zigzag line. You could draw a straight line. I think sometimes this makes it look more like grass. Yeah. I'm gonna draw a zigzag line across the paper. Oh, I like that your cow is floating. It looks like it's jumping, your cow. It is jumping. It is jumping, cause it's a happy cow. Now let's switch to our yellow crayon and what's this for? Hey. Hey, yeah, the cow's like, hey, too. Yeah. Let's draw a square shape or a rectangle shape. Let's draw two lines coming up. Oh, I got close to the mouth. Maybe that's where the cow's eating it. We're gonna draw two lines coming up. You could also, if you have more room, you could add a square up here in the sky. But, and then let's connect the top of those two lines. It's kind of a rectangle or a square shape. And we can color that in also. Ooh, that looks really good. If I was a cow, I would like hay too. Yum, yum. <laughs> <laughs> Let's add one more thing. We'll use our brown crayon and we could add a little band going around the hay to keep it together. Oh, and we could also add one this way. It looks like a cow present. <laughs> yeah, it does look like it. This cow is super happy. It's jumping because it has a cow present. Yeah! <laughs> Livia, I forgot one more thing. Our cow needs nostrils. I'm gonna add two little nostrils for the nose. <laughs> Maybe I can make the eyes a little bit bigger so that they're not the same size as the nostrils. <laughs> <laughs> Olivia, give me five. We did it. We finished drawing and coloring our cow and your drawing is my favorite. Turned out perfect. I like your cow too. Oh, thanks. Now, it's okay that our two drawings look different. They both turned out amazing. I really do think yours is perfect. Yeah, we hope you have fun drawing a cow with us. We do. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing a cow with us. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.